I'm very hungry. I'm not. This is problematic. Don't that's, do that. That's Something. wrong. Do not okay. ever do that. You ready for tea? Tea, tea. Aren't you supposed to pour it for me? Oh Isn't it the oldest that pours it? No, nope, doesn't matter. Yep, it goes on your face. Hello, everyone. I'm Steph. I'm Ken. And today on Tasting the World, we are trying... Taste the World. Taste the World. We are trying... Chinese New Year goodies. Yes. Chinese, We're very excited about these. Chinese New Year is coming up. The Lunar New Year is coming up on February... <laughs> 12? It's 12th, yeah, I think. Yeah. And so we decided to do an episode dedicated to that. My heritage. Yes. We have tried some of these before, so... I don't know if we've... Okay, there's only one I know specifically you've definitely had. I think everything else we've had variations of it, but perhaps not this company. I was born in Singapore, and Chinese New Year in Singapore is a really, really big thing with many, many different snacks and goodies and stuff. Um, I tried really hard to find the ones I felt were authentic to my version of Chinese New Year, but I failed. So, I ended up going to a supermarket and just buying things that I think could best represent. Okay. Sorry, I was a little distracted because I realized if I am sit just right, it looks like the red envelopes are coming out of my hat and make it look like I have a <laughs> <laughs> Also, red is a very auspicious color, which is why we're wearing red. Auspicious? Auspicious. Explain. You should probably explain this too. You want to give a little cultural background for a quick second? No, because I don't. <laughs> or in North America, they call it red pockets. Why have I never heard that? Red okay. envelopes. Like red envelopes um, or hong bao, which means red envelopes. <laughs> <laughs> and in um, the Chinese culture, people put money in it and they give it to um, their younger people. So elders tend to give to younger people. Um, but as you grow older, sometimes they give your parents. There's a lot of rules around it about who receives it, who doesn't receive it, once you get married, so on and so forth. I think also different families make up their rules, so... <laughs> Whichever benefits them the most. So the moral of the story is have children, so that your children get all the red packets, and they don't know what to do with money, so you take them. And what do you say when you hand someone a red packet? So oh. when you hand someone a red packet, you tend to say really nice things to them that wish them well. Like Chinese New Year sayings like, uh, which is... Help, wish you good health or um, oh my god my, my mom is going to kill me what's the most common what do you generally say 恭喜發財, which is really happy new year or in Cantonese they say toy. I'm not Cantonese so I don't know um, uh, gaoshen, which is something like growing up well or something like that and then you there's a whole bunch for like your education and and prosperity everything revolves around money clearly and there are all these other traditions that we start um, on the first day of Chinese New Year where you eat something sweet. Um, that's what my mom used to like to do. It's about, you know, wishing you good, uh, like, sweetness in your life. And it differs per region and, like, country and stuff, Probably, right? Probably, yeah. 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 And I will also say that I'm not going to tell you what each of these mean because I don't know. <laughs> but about oranges, though, like, oranges are Mandarin or Smith are specifically used on Chinese New Year, right? Yeah, I don't... I think it's just lucky. Oh, okay. Um, after this, I'm going to have to Google and tell you, but... <laughs> I was just wondering, because, like, in North America, or at least at least in the U.S., you have a tradition of oranges in your stockings used to be a thing, and that's because awesome. it was a very... We did, used to have that, like, my great-grandparents used to do that for us because it was a good fortune thing because yeah. it was very expensive. We would always have to take two oranges and they call it bai nian. Uh, you go to your elder and you go and you wish them well wishes and they give you the red packet in exchange nice. for the oranges. Nice. Mm -hmm. Anyways, without further ado. <laughs> um, so this is an assortment of cookies. I chose the savory one because Yum. as you can tell from our last video, we weren't very keen on sweets. And if I'm honest, I've tried several of the sweet ones here and I'm just not a big fan, it gives me a headache. So I decided to try yeah. the savory one instead. 
Yeah. Do you know the significance of why they often use a lot of like nuts and sesame and stuff? Or is it just because that's what's found in the region? I feel like I should have done a lot more research. No, I'm just asking. asking. It, don't, I don't think, no guilt on it. I was just asking. One thing about moving away from Asia and living in North America and like Canada is you really start to consider your heritage. Um, mm -hmm. When I was growing up, I took it for granted. It's things that happen every single day. Um, and moving here and being married to someone that is not Asian, you start to miss it. I, I can agree with that. Like I, there's aspects of my Southern heritage that I miss as well. And we have a tendency to not ask the significance of why we do certain things here. So. Yeah, and I think as a Asian Chinese like growing up in, in Singapore, like I used to not care about these traditions. Okay, so. Okay. Do you want to try it first? Okay, so we want to look at what it is. Ah, they faked us out. <laughs> it's gonna okay. put something there. Let's just try the, the open ones first. So that's like a. Should we just break it? It's like a peanut brittle of some kind, right? Oh. Because it's like sugar. Or a nougat. Nou nougat? Nougat? Nougat is soft. Nougat. Okay. Nougat. Cheers. Doop. Yeah, wait, show. Mmm. Mmm. I like this one. I like it. Well, I mean, we have something similar in the South. It's just peanut butter. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. It's crunchy. It's peanutty. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very good. yummy. Now, this one. It's basically the same, right? It's just yeah, sesame seeds. Oh, wait, does that have peanuts too? Peanuts and sesame. Mm -hmm. A lot more sesame. Mm -hmm. I generally like the sesame one a little bit more because it cuts the sweetness more. Mm. So I don't know what the difference is. Is it soft? No. Oh yeah, it is. Me and my scissors. This one's soft. Here, I'm gonna. It's in a packet. This is why we have scissors, okay? Well, no, if you just ripped it. <laughs> kind of like what I'm about to do. Oh, look at that. So easy. So that one is maybe... Look, it, you can actually pull it open. Oh, so that's more... You're making this. That's more like a caramel kind of... <laughs> mm. What is it? I don't know, but I really like this one. It's, it's got peanuts as well. It's very chewy. It's essentially this one, but it's chewy. It's essentially that one. It is that one. It's, it's, it's sorry, it's essentially this one. But it's like a jelly of some kind. Mm. Is it different? The but it's very flavor is different. Again, yeah. it's just sesame and peanut. Yeah. Whatever yeah. it's in the middle. Yeah, it's like a... Fashion. I don't think I've had that one before. That one's quite good. Mm. You, you know we've got a lot of other things to eat, right? I'm hungry. Okay, here's this one. So it's sesame candy. I Did think you this show? one. Yeah. Um, so I think this is quite similar to the one that we had with the peanuts. However, it's only sesame and it, it feels a, it feels about the same hardness though. Mm. The flavor is very much mm. These, richer. Yeah, these sesame seeds are toasted. The other ones up here would be not as toasted. They're very good. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess this one is black sesame and mm -hmm. peanuts. I usually like this one because I like black sesame quite a lot. Oh, they smell very sweet. Oh, it's not chewy? Nope. Mmm. Mmm, so mm. I've had these when I was growing up. They were typically white. Oh, it's not very sweet. 
Really? It's funny because it it's tastes a bit, quite sweet to me. It's a bit chalky and it just kind of dissolves after you start crunching. To me, it tastes like hardened marshmallow. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. But it has like a coconut flavor to it. I didn't think I was gonna like that. I actually quite like it too. Yeah. So the verdict of this little platter is it's good. Yeah. Oh, this every single one of these will be eaten. Yeah. Does it say? Oh no, it just says the ingredients. What does it call it though? A sort of something. A sort of biscuit. Oh cookies. yeah. Okay. It's uh, you know what? Hmm. This is a product of Vietnam. Coconut tree brand. Hmm. Anyway, kudos, wonderful. Mm -hmm. This is um, essentially jerky. Typically, back home, it's made with pork. Uh, this one is actually a chicken jerky. It's a shiracha honey chicken um, flavored. Also, <laughs> in Singapore, you get them fresh in like big rectangles and then you just cut them up. Here, you have to get them vacuum sealed and um, it's very expensive. <laughs> yeah. What's it called? Bakwa is what it's called. Um, that's not Chinese, I don't know. It's like Hokkien or Chiu 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 Chiu. It looks like this. Shouldn't you explain what Hokkien and Chiu Chiu is? Hokkien and Chiu Chiu are dialects of China. So, in so it is Chinese, different provinces, it's just dialects. Different provinces of China have their own dialects. And um, I, I am Teochew. Yeah. Like Cantonese is a dialect, correct? Cantonese is a dialect too. Yeah. So, sorry, I chipped that off. But it's it's a lot softer than normal jerky. Mm -hmm. You imagine when you're in North America and you get those jerkies and you're like, you pull it out. This one's just like there. And then it's always made with like a little bit of sweetness, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very good. She um, enjoys it a lot. And it's one of the things too, excuse me, my eye was itching. It's one of the things that you can't bring back because yeah. it's a meat product. So it's you can't unfortunately bring it back. So you have to enjoy it while there or find a substitute here. And this is the company that you found that is the best. as close and the best. I Again? Think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very glad that I found this brand because it, it's very good. Yeah, because you've tried other ones and you did not like them at all. It's like a, this one is spicy, so it's a sweet, spicy chicken flavored thing. Next. This is different. I've never actually had this one. Never had what? Dried persimmons for Chinese food. <laughs> persimmon? Persimmon. I, persimmon. Well, no, we just, it's, we say it's the same, just different instruction. <laughs> I like persimmons. So. They look a little bit they do look funny. They they look a little funny. Persimmons are delicious though. <laughs> they look a little funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. It smells like dried persimmon. Persimmon. It smells like what it is? I mean, that's a really Here, I've got a nice As opposed to... Because I'm not going to eat a whole thing. No, I just bite it. Do you usually have uh, persimmons though when you're... Um... No? We have dried plum, we have dried plums. Do you have fresh persimmons? No. Okay. Dried mango. Mm. How is it? It's good. <laughs> it's good. Well, you asked me when my mouth was full. It actually makes it not as sweet. You wanna know what it tastes like? What? Persimmon. Persimmons actually, and I don't think persimmons are that sweet anyway, but um, dried it's definitely not as sweet. It's quite good. I really like it. Yeah, it's very tasty. I'm trying to describe how persimmons taste, like if someone has never had one, like the closest other fruit to it. It's hard, right? I'm trying to think. Apricot, maybe? I think from a flavor profile, apricot is probably the closest. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's do this. Um, I have to say something. Mm -hmm. This is a pineapple cake in Singapore. That brand, you never tried Pineapple that. tarts, mm -hmm. picture, 
are very very traditional to Chinese New Year and I haven't been able to find anything remotely close to it. We made our own. Yeah, and it was pretty close. close. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty close. Oh, it smells. I mean, I don't want to say anything before we eat it, but I think... I wish you could smell it because this has a very typical, very artificial pineapple flavored smell. Yeah, they, like they have the pineapple extract to it, and, um, which means they probably are using not ripe pineapple to make the filling and they add the extract to make it that much more pineapple-y. Yeah, so... Sad face. We generally don't like those ones at We all. will give it the benefit of the doubt for now. Okay. Come on. I mean, look at the proportion. The ratio of dough to pineapple is just... A shortbread. It's like a shortbread cookie on the outside is what it's supposed to be. And then it's supposed to be like a, a jam filling on the inside. Sad face. I know. Really sad. It's because it uses the extract, it makes it taste like suntan lotion. Like, or... You know how pineapple candles and stuff smell? It's what it tastes like. So it has like that very chemical flavor. I had high hopes for this. Yeah. You want more? How do you ask for tea? May I have more tea, please? That's not how you ask for tea, don't you? Please, ma'am, some more. <laughs> You're making a mess. You're making a mess. That's not, no, how do you say thank you? You didn't do, you thank didn't you. do the proper, that's. <sighs> that's also Cantonese, by the way. We, I never did that growing up. Really? Mm. What we're we talking about is when you go to dim sum, which is, if you guys don't know what dim sum is, please go and Google it. Um, it is glorious. Um, I think it's a Cantonese thing, but forgive me if I'm wrong. When someone pours tea for you and you're mid conversation, the whole point of dim sum is you have conversation over snacks. You do this. When someone pours tea, this means thank you. I think most people are aware of what this candy is. They also have several different varieties now, of which I like all of them. Um, this is the original. It's the yes. white rabbit candy, and no, no rabbits were harmed in the making of any of these candies, okay? It's essentially a milk candy. Now they come with uh, like red beetle flavor and matcha flavor and all these others, but I still what really like... One? Those are the only ones, right? I still, I think so. I still really like the original. So the thing about it is there is a piece of paper here and you can actually eat that. You're supposed to eat that. Yes, yeah, the edible f paper. It just, I think, keeps it from when it gets like maybe slightly warm or something from sticking to the wrapper. Who knows? Cheers. I don't know. Cheers. Oh, it got hard. I know, I told you it was hard. Feel good though. The wrapper just kind of melt. The wrapper kind of just melt in your mouth. I it does melt away. It's just, um, why'd you put the whole thing in your mouth? We um, both very much like this candy. This candy is delicious. Um, I do find though, it's hard to find a production date, but some of them are, um, actually, you know what? The ones we buy at the bigger rest, uh, stores are always harder than the ones we buy at like the, in the little Chinese stores and stuff. You know what I mean? You're suffering, aren't you? I really like it, but now it's stuck to my teeth. Mm -hmm. Pro tip, often what I do with those is I will put it in my pocket so my body heat will warm it up and so then when I want it, it's already slightly softened. I realize how weird that sounds. It does, I don't care. What's next? Kim. Birdly. I was still chewing the white rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's next are these little green tea cakes. Um, a good friend of ours brought this over to the house one day and we fell in love. They're delicious. We tried, they also make a pineapple cake, which this is more common to like the ones that we would buy in Singapore. Um, 
that's this shape and then notice the ratio of filling to <laughs> cookie um but we did try their pineapple ones and, and they also use like, like that. that extract not good but these are the green tea ones so full disclosure we have had these before it's why i have scissors so you don't make any noise all right it comes in little packages Are you ready? Yeah. All right. It comes in small. Why you? It comes in small. <laughs> it comes in small packages. In small packages like me. But it's full of flavor like me. <laughs> the, the one thing they aren't is rotten though. <laughs> Love you. You're gonna make a mess. Yep. I don't know why that was necessary. I think that is only necessary for things that are gooey, like cheese, for like cookies and stuff. It makes absolutely no sense. Now, now it's like all. It looks half masticated. <laughs> Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Those taste great. So delicious. Mm. There's green tea. There's dough. There's cake. It's a little chewy. It's quite mm. dry. There's no dough. You might want to drink some tea with the green tea. What, what, why did you say dough? Was that called cake? Just cake? Yeah. Dough is the raw form. That's a good point. <laughs> well then. Yeah. It's like mm. a it's like a buttery shortbread. It's how they do the, the outside cake. Delightful. Right. I don't know what this is. It's a it says rice cake red bean. And it's it looks like red bean on top. Very heavy and very hard. Open it. Oh. Is it made into a cake? Oh, it looks like it's made into a cake. <laughs> I don't really know what to do with this. I mean, I'm sure we're supposed to dump it out and then like slice it, but for our purposes, we can just do it this way, yeah. It's very hard. Wow. I'm, I'm kind of afraid of it. I was expecting it to be like... Softer? Softer and like gooey. Or not gooey, yeah. like, um, chewy. Okay. It's like a really hard jelly that's not jelly. No. Maybe you're supposed to steam it. I'm on Google real quick. Okay. Because that would make a lot more sense also as to why the packaging was the way it was. We determined with the other one um, that we mass failed and it needs to be steamed before it's eaten. So, our bad. Um, I'm letting my people down. <laughs> that is also why it probably tasted horribly. Yeah, to be fair, I haven't, uh, I've never had that before. Yeah. What did, you, what did we say the name of it is? Nian Gao. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Which means Rice your cake. cake. Oh. Yes, I've steamed this up. Um, I mean, it already looks better. It's now soft. I don't think it's done. It's still hard. Just, just do the up top. It's fine, like this. Here. But it's not supposed to be like that. That's what I was telling you. It's supposed to be completely like a pudding, like. But yogurt. it's really good, like this. It's supposed to be like this texture throughout the whole thing. That's weird. But it's what it's supposed to be. You know what? It tastes like a red, red bean cake. I think it's pretty close. Um, 
I don't like it. I don't mind it. We'll steam it for you later. Yeah, you don't like you don't like red bean that much. No, I'm not a big fan. I like red bean. It's actually probably one of my favorites. This is so cute. So these are egg rolls. It says assorted, but is that are they, are three they all different? Different type of egg rolls. Um, remember what I told you about Chinese people using containers that you can reuse? Yeah, so in the next video you will see. <laughs> in the next video you will see that I did say that Chinese people use tins containers to put for snacks. egg rolls. Okay, so these are egg rolls, um, and not what you're thinking of when you go to Chinese restaurant. Egg rolls, completely different concept. One day I'll learn how to open these. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm sorry. What were you saying about packaging? And how the Chinese people do it? Okay, I don't know about this company, but clearly not very environmentally friendly. <laughs> they then. I'm pretty sure the other packaging is winning right now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Um, this just means you have to watch the next video. Alright, mm. so. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. It could be a bit smaller. Different? Sesame flavored, scallion and milk flavored. So sesame, scallion and milk. That's what this one is? No. I'm saying there's three flavors. One is scallion. Sesame, scallion and milk. We shall see. Well, we'll find out when we open it. But the tuna is doing something. Wow. Um, my dear Gosh. Chinese people, you guys are really failing in your packaging, okay? Because one, really one. Well, yeah, that's exactly. I'm pretty sure this is the sesame oh, one. Oh, yeah. My back is getting really hot. These little egg roll thingies are. Mm. Probably just I didn't hold it up. So good. You're making a mess. To me, they're um. They taste like crepes. They're just like um, dried crepes instead of soft crepes, but that's what they taste like. They and taste like just... home. Yeah, they're delicious. And then this one has uh, black sesame seeds in it. Okay. okay, number two. I really wish you guys didn't individually pack them. Makes it very sad. For freshness, probably more than anything. It also makes them not get all beaten up, like broken apart. They're... Is that the milk one or scallion? I don't know. Now this smells like smells, home. That smells like a milk one. I don't think it's scallion. Or if it is, the scallion scent is not there. Mm. 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 The milk one. These are nice. Um, because mm. they're just like a hint of sweetness. They're very good. Mm. Scallions, clearly. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely scallion. Fuck. You can see it. Did you show it to people? Sorry. My favorite is the milk. I really like the milk because it really feels like home. I think my favorite is the scallion. Really? This is really good. Okay, you can have them all. I'm not a big fan of the scallion. It kind of tastes like um, sour cream and onion chips. <laughs> that's a good... Um... Well, the hint of sweetness, but that's what they taste like to me. They're very good. These are very good. Of everything we had, what is your, what's your favorite? <laughs> yeah, I, I know what I it mean... is. That's what it is. Bakwa. I really love bakwa. Um, the persimmons are very surprisingly good. I didn't think I was gonna like it. You know, we we eat through our eyes sometimes, and it doesn't look very good. But um, no, but if you haven't seen like fresh persimmons, they're a very bright orange. They're very pretty. So I'm not surprised that they look like that when dried. But they were. That was probably the most surprising to me too, because mm. we hadn't had that before. The thing that I would probably want to have, I would probably keep the persimmons. 
when they're if they're available to find. You know that those go on a very specific labor. There we go. Hammer time. Yes. This is just kind of cute to have in the house. I don't think it's something that I would buy all the time. Give me a red packet. With money in it. I'll give you my credit card later. Actually, you're not supposed to, actually. Yeah. You don't give it to your, your spouse, I right? I mean, honestly, I think you can do whatever whatever you want. Okay. Like, say oh my gosh, name? we didn't rate any of them. Uh, okay. I mean, to me, they're all like a 7 or an 8, with the exception of the pineapple cakes. I think the pineapple cakes are like a 2. Yeah. Um, everything are... else, I would say actually the red bean cake is like a zero for me. But well, that's just preference, right? It's actually not bad. But actually, it's true. Everything actually. I would rank it is a seven. Actually, or eight. actually, 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 seven or eight. Um, yeah. They're all very good. Um, Your favorite thing is the bakwa. My favorite thing is the bakwa at a ten and then, million. And ranking. then what? The egg roll after. I think I like the persimmon more than the egg roll. Well, okay. It's weird. And you like that more than the white rabbit? The white rabbit is just like a childhood thing that will never go away and will always stay. I know, stay it feels almost like unfair to rank it in amongst of these Close things. to my heart. Yeah. Which is your favorite out of these assortment? Um, I really like the gooey one. The, okay. The gooey one's my favorite. My favorite out of the assortment is always is the black sesame one. That's always my favorite out of the assortment. So we hope you like the video. Um, yes. Hope you learn a little bit more about the Chinese culture. Again, I think it differs from region to region. And in Singapore, to me, it's very different from people that celebrate here in um, Canada. Most of them are from Hong Kong. How do we say Happy New Year? Sing Nian Kuai Le. Sing Nian Kuai Le. Sing年快乐。Sing年快乐。Sing年快乐。Sing年快乐。Sing年快乐。Sing年快乐。Sing年快乐。Sing年快乐。Sing年快乐。Sing年快乐。Sing年快乐。Sing年快乐。Sing年
care to share. Yeah, that are like actually the most authentic. Yeah. 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 Anywho, thank you for watching. Yes. If, Happy Chinese New Year to everyone. If you feel like it, subscribe, like, share, tell the whole world. Um, and if there are any other kinds of cuisines, snacks, mm -hmm. foods from different parts of the world that you want us to try or any yes. themes you want us to try, let us know in the comments. Yes. Put them in the comments. Also, tell us what is your favorite thing. If it's some a region you're from, tell us what your personal favorite is. Please tell us where we can get it to because that's yes. always the difficulty. Yes. Um, and to all the people out there that know about all these snacks, if we've said anything wrong, I am sorry. Or I tell am. us your favorite. I'm, also, I'm not a great representation of mob people. <laughs> you are. <laughs> no, but tell us your favorite too. Because I know there's also a, a whole wide range of different ones as well. And to my mom, I'm sorry I failed you. <laughs> She's not sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye. what to do.